Hello friends, in this video lecture, we will see priority scheduling algorithm, which is also known as priority based scheduling algorithm, with its example. Here in this priority scheduling algorithm, priority is associated with each process explicitly, means priority is clearly mentioned therefore each process where cpu is allocated to the process with highest priority and here lower number is having highest priority by default if it is mentioned that the highest priority will be given to higher number in that case you have to solve the problem based on the mentioned data but by default lower number is having highest priority it is either preemptive or non preemptive type of scheduling algorithm when a process arrives at ready queue its priority is compared with the priority of currently running process and in case of preemptive priority scheduling algorithm running process will preempt the cpu if the priority of newly arrived process is higher than the priority of the currently running process so that is in case of preemptive type of priority scheduling algorithm in case of non preemptive type of priority scheduling algorithm currently running process will hold cpu till its execution and new process will be put at the head of the ready queue means priority is given to the running process in case of non preemptive priority scheduling algorithm it is most commonly used scheduling algorithm in batch operating system here processes with same priority are executed on first come first serve basis in this priority can be decided based on memory requirements time requirements or any other resource requirement here there are certain problems associated with priority based scheduling algorithm we can also call these problems as demerits a major problem with the priority scheduling algorithm is indefinite blocking or starvation and second demerit is that a process that is ready to run but waiting for the cpo can be blocked let's see a problem based on priority based scheduling algorithm consider the following processes with given arrival time and cpu bus time compute average turn around time and average waiting time under priority based scheduling algorithm here we are having four processes arrival time for each process is also given along with the bus time and priority for each process is also mentioned there in the last column let's solve this here to compute waiting time we have to compute turn around time and to compute turn around time we have to compute completion time let's sketch the nat chart first here at 0 there is process p1 which is having highest priority we have to consider that lower number is having highest priority means here process p1 is having priority 1 along with process p1 p3 is having highest priority but at 0 there is arrival of process p1 only means P1 will hold CPU for 5. Here in this problem, we are following non preemptive type of priority based scheduling. At 5, there is process P3 requires it to complete. Then there is P2 requires 3 units to complete. And P4 requires 6 to complete p3 is having first priority p2 
is having second priority and P4 is having third priority. All these priorities are given there in the problem. Here, as per priority, P3 hold CPU for 8 units. Total is 13 here. After P3, CPU will be assigned to process P2, which will hold CPU for 3 units. Total time is 16. And there is process P4 will hold CPU for 6. Total is 22. So, total time on the NAT chart is 22. And you can compare the total bus time here, which is given there in the problem. 5 plus 3 plus 8 plus 6 that is 22 means we are going on the right path then compute completion time with the help of this net chart p1 complete set 5 p2 complete set 16 p3 complete set 13 and p4 complete set 22 turnaround time is completion time minus arrival time here turn around time for process p1 is 5 minus 0 that is 5 for p2 it is 16 minus 1 that is 15 for p3 it is 13 minus 2 that is 11 and for p4 it is 22 minus 3 that is 19 so average turn around time is total time divided by number of processes 50 divided by number of processes that is 4 equals to 12.5 units and waiting time is turnaround time minus bus time waiting time for process p1 is 5 minus 5 that is 0 15 minus 3 that is 12 for p2 11 minus 8 that is 3 for p3 and 19 minus 6 that is 13 for p4 average waiting time is total waiting time that is 28 divided by 4 equals to 7 we can cross check here that p1's waiting time is 0 means p1 arrived at 0 and got the cpu at same time means there is no need to wait to get cpu as far as process p1 is concerned p2's waiting time is 12 here p2 arrived at 1 and got cpu at 13 p3's waiting time is 3 means p2 arrived at 2 and got cpu at 5 and p4's waiting time is 13 means p4 arrived at 3 and got cpu at 16 so with the help of this nat chart and this table we can cross check the turn around time and waiting time especially waiting time thank you for watching have a nice day